Hi, it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we are going to be taking a look at something that you should definitely be doing on your AMD based PC. This is really important, and we get a lot of people in on our Discord and also on the YouTube comments talking about their stuttering performance in games and even in Windows itself, and they're completely flummoxed by it. They don't know what's going on. They've got up to date drivers for their graphics card, they've got everything done right, they've got their cooler mounted correctly, the temperatures seem okay, but still they're experiencing stutter in games and in Windows. So today I'm going to show you how to fix that, and it's actually very easy to do, and AMD have just released a new chipset driver, which helps even more so, so if you're on the latest AMD platforms, or potentially one of the older ones, then this video may just be just the thing you need to stop all that crazy stuttering. So let's go over to the computer and take a look. Okay, so this is a Windows 11 PC, but the same applies for Windows 10. Uh, we're not going to talk about Windows 7 and other versions, so uh, yeah, if you're on those, then take your life in your own hands. Anyway, let's open up a web browser. I'm going to use Google, and what I'll do is search for AMD chipset drivers, and generally it'll bring up this section here, or at least something similar. If not, I'll put some links in the video description. So we can go to the driver support page. So for Windows 10 and 11, the drivers are basically the same. The options you have are to use the auto detect and install, which is actually very good. Or alternatively, if you've just got individual things, so maybe you've got an AMD motherboard and you don't have integrated graphics on your processor, then you can just go ahead and choose chipsets, go down to your relevant ones, so maybe AM4, choose your particular version, so possibly B550, click on submit, and it'll give you the versions which are available. Myself, personally, what I like to do is to go back and just do the download Windows driver section for the auto detect. I find this works very well indeed. So it's gonna download a small program, the WebEXE. So we're gonna save that to our Windows desktop and click save. Now we can minimize this. Now I would suggest if you've got any programs open, definitely close them. If you've got anything that needs saving, please do that as well. And potentially, if you're a little bit more cautious, then perhaps create a Windows snapshot of your system if you use System Restore. Otherwise, when you're happy, click on the EXE. You'll get the user account control notification come up. Click on yes, and then it will expand and extract the driver. Now at this point, now the AMD software installer will automatically check your PC's hardware for driver and software compatibility. For some people, when you're doing this, if you get an error saying that it cannot detect your hardware, then you've got deeper rooted system problems. You may need to do a Windows update to bring your system up to date. Generally, the AMD software does kind of work hand in hand with the latest versions of your operating system. So be that for Windows 10 or Windows 11. At the moment, at the time of recording, I believe we're on 23H2, which is the latest version of Windows. So if you haven't updated your Windows, it's probably a good idea to do that first before you do the software installer, or if potentially you're getting any errors or issues with it actually detecting your hardware. Time that very well. So at the moment it's coming up with the Adrenaline edition of the software. So it's saying the Adrenaline 2471, which is recommended. If you click on this box here, if there's any other versions available, you can choose the pro version. So if you're doing video editing or something, you can choose that. I generally would go with the Adrenaline one anyway. And also you've got additional options. So you can choose to do a full install, you can choose a minimal install, or you can choose driver only. So if you don't want all the adrenaline software, you just want the drivers, you can choose driver only. I'm gonna choose full install. So I think that is gonna be the best thing for most people. You also got the option for factory reset. So this will factory reset all of your AMD graphics drivers so you can have a fresh start. You've also got the option to allow AMD to collect information to contribute to the installer development. I'm going to choose no, and next we can click on next. So now we're going to get other tools which are available for our system. So we can choose to have AMD privacy view. Uh, we're not going to have this, so we're going to skip that one. Click on install, and then we'll get another window coming up. So this is actually for the chipset drivers. So this is actually the more important of all of it, because this is the root of your system. Your motherboard is trying to control all of these various components which are on the motherboard and talking to your processor, your graphics card, your memory, all those kinds of things. So these are really, really important. So we're gonna install the GPIO drivers. We're also gonna install the PSP, which is a security driver, the SM bus, memory, and also there's a PPM provisioning file driver. So we're gonna select all those. You can deselect them if you wish to. 
but I would always choose them. Even if you've got them on the system already, just let them fresh install because it may be the driver is already corrupted and needs to be refreshed. So when you're happy, click on install and that will go through the various parts. You may find at some point your screen will flicker. Don't worry too much about that. It should be absolutely fine. So as we can see at the bottom there, it says installing AMD chipset drivers and it will give you some information about what is going on. So just let it do its thing and we'll come back when there's something else to click on or to interact with. Now for some of you, when it comes to installing the graphics driver, you may get this message come up saying, oops, something went wrong, error 195. This is actually really common. It's normally because AMD are updating something in the background or your firewall or antivirus software isn't updated. So it can't actually sign the file off to say that it's okay to install. So if that happens, click on close and just restart your computer and start the installation again. So what I've done here is I've actually switched over and I've gone for the pro version because at the moment it seems that they're actually updating the normal gaming version on the website. So we're currently downloading the pro version, which actually works out better for me. You can still use the pro version and still play games. It's just, it just has slight enhancements for video editing and uh, productivity tasks. So as you can see, it's gonna give you the time remaining there, which should go down quite quickly. It says it estimates about 10 minutes in total, but generally it's gonna be considerably less than that. And it will tell you what it's doing down here. So installing AMD display drivers currently. Be patient, let it get on and do its thing. So in a matter of seconds, that's jumped all the way down to about two minutes. And uh, I'm guessing it's pretty much done. Yep, the screen refreshed then briefly. So I think that's gonna be pretty much it. So there we go, installation has been completed. We've now got the option to launch the AMD Pro Edition software. So we click on finish. And for most of you, you'll see it's uh, pretty much the same sort of deal. So you've got the options for performance, quality, Hyper RX mode, all that kind of usual stuff, performance options. So the driver itself is almost identical. So if you're having problems installing the graphics driver for the regular Radeon graphics, then possibly try the pro version. It is effectively gonna be the same. You can still play all your games and that kind of stuff. You can, of course, if you want to at a late state, then just update to the latest normal adrenaline drivers after. As always, the choice will be yours. But you should find after you've done this, you should find your system somewhat more responsive and hopefully less stuttery. So there you go, that is how to install the AMD chipset drivers and also potentially the adrenaline or the pro drivers for your graphics card. Now this won't always necessarily remove all of your stuttering, that could be caused by other things, uh, poorly configured system, overheating, Wi-Fi connection, lots of other things. So if this hasn't fixed your problem, you're more than welcome to join us over on our Discord and discuss any problems you may have there and we can try and give you some advice. But hopefully for the majority of you, this is gonna fix your problems. And if you haven't installed your chipset drivers recently, I strongly suggest you do it anyway, just for security reasons and also for stability. So hopefully this video has been useful. If it has, smash the like button. If you wanna see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.